please listen carefully. Hey everybody, this is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we're going to do a review and unboxing of the Johnny West 50th Anniversary Limited Edition figure. Now there's 200 of these worldwide, and it's brought to you by James Wozniak, I hope I'm saying James's last name right, over at Classic Recast, and uh, you can reach him at ClassicRecast.com and uh, find out if any more of these are available. They're going pretty fast over at the Marks Groups over on Facebook. It's also brought to you by Terry Lynn Coop, uh, who actually owns the rights to the Johnny West name, and uh, the box graphics and everything were brought to you by my good friend Scott Stewart over at Stewart's Attic, and uh, he's the one that came up with the graphics. The box itself is reminiscent of the original Johnny West box, where they even do like the movable cowboy um, and everything that's listed on the sides where it's like put them into a thousand and one different positions. It's all from the original box and in fact at the very end of my review I'll have some photographs of this Johnny West, the 50th anniversary edition, next to the original Johnny West. And the original Johnny West when it came out it said it was the action cowboy and then after that first initial release they removed the action and made movable cowboy. Anyway, so he comes in a like a white shipper box, and you have really nice graphic on the front, thanks to Scott there, um, and it's done in the colors that the figure is, uh, kind of a grayish color for the body, and the soft accessories are done in um, like a dark greenish teal. Uh, they almost look really like a darker green to me, and you have the, the silver hard accessories. On the back of the box is plain, but what uh, James has done is he went ahead and numbered each one of it individually, where it's, this is 86 of 200, and right there it says distributed by Classic Recast, and there is the web address if you want to go ahead and get in touch with James and see if any more of these are still available. And the box, let's see if we can go ahead and move the camera down just a hair, okay. And on the very bottom we have another decal where it says Johnny West movable cowboy and the number is that's that's kind of sweet because it's the same marks number the original uh, number 2062 which appeared on the original Johnny West and as for the graphics there's no other graphics on the sides or on the top it's just the front and the bottom of the box as you open it up we have a nice little envelope And we have our Certificate of Authenticity, uh, 50th Anniversary of Johnny West. This paper certifies this 2015 collectible figure is an authentic and approved Johnny West 50th Anniversary Edition figure. 86 of 200, James Wozniak of Classic Recast, and Terry Lynn Coop of the Circle X Ranch. So, very cool. Definitely something that you could put in a nice little acrylic frame and keep it next to your figure. Put that back in its little envelope. And you'll notice like uh, when mine opened up I have uh, the soft white accessories. I bought those extra so my hard plastic items what uh, James has done for those that have done that has left them on the actual trees or sprues that depends on who you talk to I don't want to start a huge fight over in the marks group because I know that's one of those touchy things where people will argue over the right terminology anyway to me they always look like the modeling trees on model kits that you would get when you were a kid anyway he left everything still attached to that so we'll have to take those off when I finally get the, the figure all done up to show you and we do have the white accessories and they're still bagged and they're still on the trees too and then you have your soft green accessories now I've noticed a lot of people like this one if you notice real quick why it's still in the bag the hat is a little misshapen so when I get ready to finally put him together and take some pictures what I'll do is I'll go ahead and heat that hat up and reshape it 
Another thing that James has included in all these is uh, some soft yellow uh, accessories, which is the yellow scarf and the little yellow gloves, which uh, originally came with a Calvary figure, but they were cast hard when Marks did them. So this is a nice little extra that you could do with your figure. I'm sure the yellow would offset nice with the green and the gray body. And then finally what we have is the Johnny West. And I will have a, a little confession to make here. What we'll do again, let's, let's go ahead and move the camera back up so we're not working down. Boom. My little confession is I've already opened this set and I repainted my Johnny's eyes. I can hear collectors gasping everywhere because I touched something. Anyway, this is for me. So I didn't really care, but uh, I've noticed on some of the pictures I've seen, and mine was no exception. My figure had a little bit of like a walleye going on. One eye was looking one way, one eye was looking the other. Uh, so I just went ahead and touched it up. It took me like two seconds. Um, but other than that, there's a really nice cast of the Johnny West head. His hair is uh, a, a darker brown than um, some of the vintage Johnnies I've seen. The body is cast in this this real dark gray, and almost uh, I've heard a couple people say it, and I would have to agree. It almost gives off almost a purple hue to it. Uh, really nice unpainted rivets, of course. Um, that's not that big of a deal. Really, uh, really cool um, to have a new Johnny West figure. Um, Really love it. it. Looks looks really good. Can't wait to put it together. Of course, it does have that mark stamp on the back, um, and uh, really glad that James went ahead and, and put this together for for the collectors and something to symbolize the 50th anniversary of the figure. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take a break from filming, and I'm going to go ahead and, and put uh, Johnny together and have him in all his gear. And then what we'll do at the very end, I'll touch on my final thoughts, and then we'll go ahead and do some HD photos at the end. And we'll even have this Johnny uh, meet his namesake, uh, the original release of Johnny West. Okay, everybody, uh, we are back, and we have Johnny West all put together. I suggest that you take a little time when trimming your soft vinyl accessories, It'll save you a lot of time in the end, and you'll end up with a better looking figure at the end. And you'll also protect yourself from, like, perhaps, like, uh, tearing a, like, a chaps uh, strap or anything like that. Of course, what I did is I used a really nice, small, sharp X-Acto blade, and I used a nice pair of little clippers. And these heavy-duty clippers come in handy for your hard accessories, and you can get really close and uh, get the get your accessories trimmed really nicely. So what I'll do real quick is I'll go over that accessory list that he comes with and then I'll touch on some of the high points and low points that I have with my particular figure. I'm not, not saying that everybody would have that problem but I had one particular problem with my figure that I had to fix. So first of all uh, for his hard accessories he comes with two branding irons and they're Reminiscent to the uh, original release. Well, they have a little L and an M on them. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but it's for Lewis Marks. He does come with two little tiny sheriff stars. And I know that is an uh, issue for some people because they say Johnny West, the original Johnny West, never came with sheriff stars. That, that was only for like Sheriff Good and I believe Sheriff Garrett, which uh, is correct, but on the Johnny West Adventure figure, which I have on the outside of his box, it does say that he comes with stars. Um, he does come with a little tiny Derringer, and we'll pull this up here. He comes with his coffee pot, his coffee cup, and his frying pan, all done in that nice uh, kind of a silver pewterish color. It's almost a dark silver, so you won't get that confused with your vintage silver. Uh, he does have his little strong box that opens and closes. On the figure, he's got his Bowie knife, and he's got his 
uh, rifle, he's got his six shooter, and he has his spurs. Now for his soft accessories, he comes with his vest, his uh, neckerchief, his holster, his uh, chaps, which I was saying, take your time when you're pulling those through. You don't want to pull those little feathers or ends of the chaps off. He comes with two sets of spur straps. No, I didn't forget the hat. We'll come back to that in a minute. He comes with three bags of uh, gold. And he comes with a really nice little canteen. Now, the reason why I didn't mention the hat because that hat that he has on right now is not the hat this figure came with. Actually, this is a Circle X Ranch hat that I've color matched. I went ahead and painted it to match the color that uh, this figure came with. If you look close, it is actually a black hat. And we'll put him back on there. And the reason why I did that is because the hat that came with this figure is that's the the vinyl accessories are really really soft, and um, the hat that he came with is is a little misshapen. And when I went to go ahead and try to shape it up, I've noticed before I even started that the hat is very cut, almost haphazardly it's like too large on this side and too narrow on that side so no matter how I'm gonna end up getting the hat it's gonna end up looking more like a fedora which would be fine if it was Indiana Jones but uh, you know see from one side it looks great and then the other side it does not look like a cowboy hat so even with trying to lift this side up it's gonna end up not it's going to look more like a safari hat for a gi joe than it's going to look for like a cowboy hat for him so basically what i did is i just went ahead and took a hat that's that's done out of a thicker vinyl painted it and uh so i could complete the johnny west and that's the only thing that i really have a problem with uh the recast figure is that these accessories are so soft that um it, it's easy I can see where these would get misshapen when they're just probably coming out of the mold now if you compare that to a vintage hat um, they're they're not like that I mean they're pliable but they hold their shape and they just you can just see how easy that is gonna be to get scrunched that's also why you need to take your time when you're doing the chaps you don't want to tear them Anyway, for me, this is definitely a get if you're a Johnny West fan or if you had them when you were a kid and you want to add them to your collection now. We're talking from 1965 to 2015, and it is the 50th anniversary, so I can see this being a, a desirable figure for, for those of us that were like, you know, for our generation that would definitely want to have him back. I grew up in the 70s and had them. That's how long March was making uh, the Johnny West figures. And um, I just really, I, I really love the figure. I, I wouldn't give it like a 10 out of a 10 just because there are issues with some of the accessories. But I would definitely give it a strong 8 or 9 out of 10. And with a little tweaking, it can definitely be something that you would be happy to have on your shelf. So if you're interested, be sure to contact James over at Classic Recast and see if he has uh, some more available. And stay tuned. At the very end, I'll have some HD photos of Johnny, and I'll have Johnny up uh, against his counterpart from 1965. So thank you for watching. Take care. This is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles.